object is another data type in TypeScript, which we also have in JavaScript. But the TypeScript objects are a little bit different from the JavaScript objects. So in this lecture, let's learn about TypeScript objects. So just like how we create an object in JavaScript, in the same way, in TypeScript also, we create the object. For example, let's first create a variable, let's call it person. And to this, we are going to assign an object. And in an object, we have key value pairs. So for example, the person is going to have a name. Let's say name is John. And the person is also going to have an age. Let's say the current age is 30. So this is how we create an object in JavaScript. And in the same way, we also create the object in TypeScript. But in JavaScript, so for example, correctly to this person, we have assigned this object where we have name and age property. But in JavaScript letter, we can go ahead and we can reassign this person object with some other object where we will have a name. Let's say Mark. We will have an age. Let's say 32. So till here you see in TypeScript, we are not getting any error. But as soon as I add one more property, for example, gender, let's say gender is male, you will see that we have an error. Here, if I hover over this error, it says object literal may only specify known properties and gender does not exist in type this object. Now, why do we have this error? We have this error because if I hover over this person, this person variable, you will see that this person variable is assigned with an object. Now, this object here is not actually an object. Instead, it is a type. So basically, here, TypeScript has inferred a type for this person variable. And what is the type? The type is this person should be an object. And in that object, we should have name and age property. So this is the type for this person variable. All right. So here, when we are assigning an object, there we have name and age property. It matches this type. So that's why here we don't have any error. And this type has been inferred because here, when we are initializing it with some initial value, there we only have name and age property. So based on this object, the type of this person variable has been inferred. And TypeScript has inferred its type as an object where we should have a name and age property. Later, when we are trying to reassign this person with another object where we also have this gender property, this structure does not match this type. So in this type, we have only name and age property. But here, when we are trying to assign this person with this object, where we also have a gender property. We are getting this error that gender is not a known property. Now, if we go ahead and if we add gender property also, and let's say gender is female. So now the type of this person will be inferred as an object. And in that object, it is expecting name, age and gender property. And now this object, which we are reassigning to this person variable, there we have name, age and gender property. So this object matches this type here. And that's why now we don't have any error. But if I remove this gender property, in that case, this type, this object will not match this type because here it is also expecting a gender property. So that's why now we have an error. So in case of object also, TypeScript is doing type inference. But if we want, we can also specify the type for this person object explicitly. So for example, here I can go ahead and I can specify the type of this person as object. And when we specify the type of the person as object, in that case, we can specify any type of object to this person variable. So you see, initially we are assigning an object where we have name, age, and gender. And then later we are reassigning it with an object where we only have name and age and we don't have any error. We can also specify the type as this where we are not specifying any property. In that case also we are not getting any error. So this here and object, these two are same thing. But we can also explicitly specify the type of this person. For that, after this variable name, we can use a colon like this. Then we use a set of curly braces and there we specify the property name and its type. So for example, to this person, we want to assign only those objects which has a name property and name should be a string value and 
which has an age property and age should be a number value so now to this person now we can only assign those objects which matches this type which has a name property and it is storing a string value and which has this age property which is storing a numeric value so here you see this object does not match this type which we are explicitly specifying and that's why we have this error the gender is not a known property and if i remove this gender in that case we will not have any error and later also when we are trying to assign an object here there also we only have name and age property and this matches this type which we are specifying here and that's why we are not getting any error here as well okay so we can also specify the type for this person the type of the object which we want to assign to this person variable like this but if we don't explicitly specify this and when we initialize this person with an object so here we are doing the initialization based on this initialization typescript will infer the type of this person as you can see here so it has inferred this type it is an object where we should have a name property and age property in the name property we should be having a string value and in the age property we should be having a number value so here when we are reassigning this person with this object where we have the name and age property if i change this age to string 32 we will have an error because if you see the type here there for the age property it is expecting a numeric value but here we are assigning a string value and that's why we have this error it says type string is not assignable to type number so both the property name and the type of value which we are storing in that property is important now let me remove this line from here and let me write a console.log statement and let's go ahead and let's log this person object let's save the file here let's compile this app.ts file and you can see that the person object has been logged there we have the name property and age property and if i try to access let's say the name property of this person object that also we can do so let's save this file again let's compile this app.ts file and you see now the value of name property of person object has been logged here but here if i try to access a property which does not exist on this person object for example gender typescript will quickly give us an error but in javascript when we try to log person dot gender it will not give us any error even though this gender property does not exist on this person object javascript will not throw any error and when we will log a property which does not exist on that object it is going to log undefined same is the case here as well if we compile this typescript code it will compile successfully and in the javascript we will see that we are logging person dot gender so let me actually show you that let's save this and let's again compile this app.ts file so you see first of all in typescript we are getting this error if i scroll up we have one error and what is the error you can see we have an error at this line person dot gender and you can also see the error that property gender does not exist on type this type so while compiling also we are getting the error but the file this app.ts file it will still get compiled into javascript code because in javascript this is not an error so if i open javascript file here you see here we have the same code and there when we are trying to log person dot gender we don't have any error here even though this gender property does not exist on this person object we do not see any error here so when we will run this program it is going to log undefined in the console as you can already see so in javascript we are not getting any error but in typescript we are getting an error but if i set the type of this person as object in that case to this person we can assign any type of object in that object we can have any properties and we saw that with an example previously but still we are getting this error for this gender now this error is because now on this person if i try to access name property in that case also we will get this error because here we are specifying that this person is object but that object has which properties that we have not specified 
right this object type does not tell what properties this person object is going to have so typescript also does not know whether this person has this name property or not and that's why it is throwing this error same is the case when we use this curly braces in that case also same thing is going to happen here we are not specifying what properties this person object is going to have so typescript does not know if this person object has this name property or not and that's why it is throwing an error but if we don't specify the type here explicitly in that case based on the initial value which we have assigned to this person typescript is going to infer a type for this person variable so this person variable is going to be an object which should have this name and age property name should be string and age should be number so based on that it has assigned a type to this person variable and in that type in that object we have the name property so that's why now we are not getting any error but if i try to access a property which does not exist for example gender then we will get an error so this is another very important point to remember and finally in javascript we can access a property on an object using square bracket notation also so let's see if we can do the same thing in typescript also so what i want is from the person object i want to access its age property but this time i want to use square bracket notation okay if i save the changes let's compile the code again for that we need to run tsc app.ts so the code has been compiled and as you can see when we are logging person.name it is logging the value of name property which is john and when we are using the square bracket notation where we want to log the value of age property there it is logging 30 so we can also use square bracket notation in typescript also and finally let's also learn how we can specify a type explicitly for an object when we have nested objects for example inside this person let's say i also have an address property and this address is going to be a nested object in there i have the city property which is going to store a string value let's say london and i'm going to have a country property which is again going to store a string value and let's say country is uk so when we have nested objects how we can specify the type of that object explicitly for that again whenever we want to specify a type for a variable or for a parameter first of all after that variable or after that parameter we need to use a colon and here we want to specify the type of this person so basically in this person variable we want to store an object in that object we want to have a name property which should be a string and then let's use semicolon we want to have an age property which should store a number again let's use semicolon then we also want to have an address property and in this address property we want to store an object so for the object we specify a set of curly braces like this now in that object we want to have a city property which should store a string value again let's use semicolon and we also want to have a country property and that also should store a string value so this is how the type of this object will look like if i remove this type from here so let me cut this type from here and now if i hover over this person object you see that's how the type of this person looks like for the inner object we have this property to which we have assigned an object this set of curly braces and there we are specifying the property name and the type of value which that property is going to store okay so let me get that back so here we are specifying the type of the person variable and then here we are assigning an object to that person and this object matches the type of this person variable all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day